in the, sitting on the throne in the main hall of the castle. Your Highness, my dear, whatever is the matter? My darling, my life likes adventure. I want to have more fun. To put it simply, I am bored. I need a change of... I need a change of scene. It even depresses me to look out the window. But why? Because everything out there has something to do. The sun and the clouds and the birds are busy in the air. There! That's what can hear my boredom. What? Where? Up there! The birds? What do you want to do with the sparrow? Not the whole bird, just his wings. His lovely brotherly wings. I want to travel to distant lands. I want to fly. There must be someone in my kingdom who can make me a pair of wings. Page! Page! Where is that boy? Sire! Go to the royal treasure chest and fetch me a bag of gold. I'll give that bag of gold to a person who brings me a pair of wings that will help me fly. A few hours later, there, the king and queen, still sitting at the thrones. I thought you said you had practiced. Oh, well, get on with it. Sire, may I present your loyal subjects, Tina Applewhite and her, uh, wings. Not my wings, your majesty, but yours. Your wings to lift you above the treetops, to let you soar among the clouds. I use only the finest imported balsa wood for the frame. The lining is pure oriental silk. And the feathers, well, the feathers are... Do they fly? I beg your pardon? Do they fly? Even if they are solid gold, they are worthless to me if they do not fly. Your Majesty, do they fly? Do fish swim? Do lions roar? Do they... Do elephants have trunks? All right, all right. Let's get on with it. How do I wear them? Oh, it's very simple, Your Majesty. Put your arms through here and hold on to these. These are wonderful wings. I just know they will work. Look, I feel lighter already. I shall take off from the parapet. Please be careful. He's on the parapet now. What courage. He doesn't even hesitate. He's off. I hope he doesn't fly too far and get lost. Look at those wings flap. It doesn't seem to be doing him much good, though. Uh-oh. I wouldn't worry about his getting lost. Your Majesty. He's landed. Maybe I am the one you better worry. <coughs> My, what happened, my darling? These wings did not take me up. These wings took me down. Do you suppose I am wearing them upside down? I knew it wouldn't work. This whole idea was a mistake. But, Your Majesty, they do! I tied, them, I tied a string to them and took them out of the wind. They flew beautifully. Out in the wind, eh? And were you wearing them at the time? Oh, no, I was on the ground holding onto the other end of, end of the string. This is not a set of wings. This is a kite. Take this and foster away to the dungeon and off with their wings. My beloved, will you please give up this dangerous give up this dangerous business before you get yourself killed? Don't be absurd. Flying is no more dangerous than anything else. I could fall off a horse, you know. Yes, but you would be a great deal closer to the ground. Boulder Dash. Sire, may I, present, may I present your loyal subject, Gerald F. Cronmiller, and his wings. Your Highness, I offer you my ingenious invention. The helicopter. The helicopter? How does it work? Well, sire, these wings 
These things on top are called rotors. You wind the rotors to the left as far as they will go and release them. And that's all there is to it? That's all, Your Highness. The spinning rotors lift you and you tilt your head in the direction you want to go. Then, as the, ro as the rotors wind down, you lower you gently back onto the ground. Gently? Gently. Don't do it. It doesn't look safe to me. My dear, a child's heavy horse doesn't look safe to you. Just wind it up and let it go? That's all, Your Highness, except for one thing. Just a minute, my good man. Tell me, have you tried the helicopter yourself? I mean, really tried it? Oh, yes, indeed it works. I guarantee it. That's good enough for me. But your highness, wait! Oh, Dauntless, it's her majesty. There he goes. There he goes. Down. But the helicopter works. It's been laboratory tested. My poor baby, did it work? Oh, it worked all right. The helicopter went up, 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 but I went down, down, down. Does this mean I'm not getting the bag of gold? Take him to the dungeon. My dear, I hate to say I told you so, but if you hate to say it, then don't say it. Well... Just skip the fanfare. What have you got now? Sire, may I present your loyal subject, Isaac Somerville and his wings? Your Majesty, may I present the best wings of all? Funny, those don't look like wings to me. How do I wear them? You don't wear them, Your Majesty. You look at them, they're called books. Oh, I see. They're magic. You look at them, say a few words like egg, ever cadaver, or fiddle dee faddle, and they take you wherever you want to go. Well, not exactly. Well, then, how do they work? Permit me. Open them. <clears throat> Here's a picture. The pyramids of Egypt. So that's what they look like. Look, my dear, they're the picture of Paris. In the river scene. What a good picture. I feel as if I'm really there. Now you see what I mean? Books are wings to the light of knowledge, and they are also wings to the land of fun. Look at those. Why is a story about little girl and and little girl and a talking rabbit? It's called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Wonderland. Is that north or south of here? It's not north or south or east or west either. The only way you can visit Wonderland is by reading that book. Let's see the rest of these. <coughs> hmm. Here's one that will take me to China and another about Africa. I go to Switzerland with Heidi. I've always wanted to see the Alps. This is very exciting indeed. But I had hoped to discover something else. Reading is discovering, Your Highness. There's something new on every page. Wait a minute. Here's a book called The Principles of Aeronautics. Page, take this book down to the dungeon and make sure those two scoundrels read it. And then let them go free. Yes, sir. Here, my good man, take your bag of gold. You have earned it. With those books around, I don't think I'll ever be bored again. I thank you, Your Highness. Now both of you leave us alone so we can do some reading. All right, my jewel, where do you want to go? I can't decide. Should I visit the land of Oz with Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz or Never Never Land with Peter Pan and Wendy? Never Never Land, I would choose that one. You'd like it, my darling. It's about a boy who really can fly. His name is Peter Pan. That sounds perfect. All right, you read, you read Peter Pan, and I'll read Wizard of Oz, and then we'll trade. Good idea. 
Well, bon voyage, Your Highness. Have a nice trip. You too, Your Highness. I'm glad we found out about books. So am I. It's the only, oh, it's the only way to fly.